Oh, God. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't changed much. <laughs> there's people that play in who might be struggling as well, and I think it's just important to try and be um, just positive and good energy. Mm. Um, you don't want to be an energy sucker, do you? <laughs> I mean, just looking at him, he's absolutely adorable, bless him. Um, Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> she always calls me mum. <laughs> Because I'm always like, have you done this? Have you done that? Um, do you want us to bring your food in? So Demi, um, we're going to go through some of your career highlights quickly and your achievements at City. But firstly, congratulations again on Thank the new you. deal. Just very quickly, how does it feel to extend your stay at the club? Yeah, ha happy um, and, and grateful. Um, like I know these opportunities don't come around all the time, and I think just you know excited to continue my career um, and, um, and push on. Good. Up. Take a little trip down memory lane, go back to a few of your achievements, as I say, over the few years. Oh, God. I know. <laughs> <laughs> haven't changed much. <laughs> so this was obviously your signing day uh, in 2015. Just very quickly, just explain sort of how that move came about, because you'd obviously been overseas, and how did City sort of get in contact and be interested in you? City played, Sinners playing for England, I think. So I think that's how it, you know, developed from there. Um, but yeah, I remember when I first got asked, I was like, what? Um, you know, because when, when I went to America, I, almost, I, said, I always say I had this plan where I wanted to go get that done and then go professional. So I'd, I'd never been professional. I knew, I knew what you had to do to be professional, but was never given that um, you know, opportunity. And that's why I went away and you know, my plan worked. So. Finished second in your first season and they're obviously signs of promise of what this club could achieve and the season after winning the league title winning the league cup going unbeaten scoring your first goal against <laughs> Chelsea do you remember that one at all I do actually I always remember the season really well because I remember you know even the way we were talking I think as a defense we we didn't met, uh, let many goals in um, and it was it was a thing it was like right this game like clean sheet like it was really installed in us and that season was just unbelievable. Moving on um, to the next season, obviously an FA Cup win as well to add to it. I always say FA Cups are, are the best. They're literally the best days and when you win, they're, like, they're so nice because I always say it's almost like a reward for obviously all your hard work at the end of the season, but for your family and friends because I always say looking up to them in the stands is the best thing ever. Not to be cliche, but every, everyone wants to play at Wembley. That's that's everyone's dream as a, as a footballer, whether you're a young boy, a young girl. At this point in your career, did you feel like you were playing some of your your best football? You'd really sort of hit your peak, and you were you were hitting that level. Yeah, I, I think obviously, you know, City have a, a way of playing and a, you know specific way. So I think as well, it, it takes time to to learn that, to understand that. Once you win things, you you do tell yourself, you know, what can I do next, or how can I improve, or how can I keep pushing? But I think, yeah, I, I remember that season and, you know, I, f I think I just felt confident. Um, I was playing for England as well, starting for England. So, yeah, it was, yeah, you just, you just feel confident when you're playing. Moving on to another big, big trophy. Um, more recently, the Conti Cup last season. I, I remember this because I, I remember we were, I think we were under the cosh a bit actually in this game. At times like this, between sort of a real 50-50 game, how important can the manager's words be and how important has Gareth been in these sort of clutch moments in a way? You know, I think he's about, you know, keep doing the, you know, the good things, keep doing the right things and, you know, keep doing what we're training. And I don't think, per se, you know, he gives us this big, um, you know, speech what he, like, pulls out. I think he's just very, you know, stick to the basics. Mm. We know what we're good at. And if we play the city way, then you know we'll get um, we'll get our reward and we'll get our goals. Moving on to season just gone, we've got some clips of you in training here. You've talked about how you've taken on an important role away from the pitch as well, and it's maybe even developed you as a as a leader. Does it does it feel like that to you? Yeah, I think when you're going through like you know a tough time, I think you've got to divert. I think your energy, your positivity elsewhere, and. I think obviously off the pitch I had that with, with Harlan and, and Katie, but there's people that play in who might be struggling as well. And I think it's just important to try and be um, just positive and good energy. Mm. Um, you don't want to be an energy sucker, do you? So, <laughs> um, yeah. Do you feel like it was a season where maybe we haven't hit the targets or the heights we wanted to, but 
it bodes really well for the future of what this team could achieve. You know, there isn't any silverware. You know, people will say, oh, well, you know, we failed or we didn't do well. But I think, obviously, us as a club, us as a team, we know what the conversations are. And I think if you look at previous seasons, we, we hadn't beaten Chelsea, we hadn't beaten Arsenal in a while. So I think this season, you know, that the, the way we played in some of them games was, was unbelievable. So I think it just shows, you know, where we're going, the direction we're heading in. And, you know, we, we do have a young squad and, you know, when you do first sign for City, it is hard to yeah. get a gist of the, you know, the style and what's expected for you. So, you know, be patient with players, give them time. Um, and I think even just the back end of the season, you can see, you know, that everyone is starting to understand. And, and I, I think I said if there was a couple of more weeks left of the season, you know, things might have been different. And you've mentioned Harlan obviously a, a real significant mm -hmm. part of your life. Um, I mean, just looking at him, he's absolutely adorable, bless him. Um, Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, how, how has it maybe changed your outlook as a professional footballer, starting a family and you and Katie between you sort of having to raise him as well? Uh, I think you've just got to be diligent with everything you do. I think you, you have to be anyway as a professional, but I think obviously I, I'm lucky that, you know, I have Katie and she's very understanding. Um, you know, she pulls her weight, I pull my weight. Mm. So, you know, we've got a good, you know, I say tag team. He tends to come in on recovery days, but as well, I think as well, that's what I love about the club that they've been um, really understanding with Harlan. They've said, you know, bring him, bring him in when you need to, mm. you know, if there's any help that you need or help with scheduling. Um, and that was an, another thing that was, you know, really comforting for me. What we've done as well is we've spoken to some of your teammates about the influence that you've had on them in their careers so far and, and obviously moving forward. Can you think about which player might have said that? It's somebody that you've spent a lot of your career with, um, obviously internationally and at club level as well. Um, but I mean, it's, it's some praise, isn't it? It is, very nice to read. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with Steph without them, is it? Nailed it. You, <laughs> you know, she is a little bit older than me, so I think you know, she's probably gone through something before me, so it's, well, what, what do you think on that? So, yeah, d definitely like a great teammate um, to have around um, and a great leader. So, yeah, I think grateful that I've been able to obviously share, share my journey with her as well and, you know, we can continue it together. <laughs> I already teammate. know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> who do you think? <laughs> Chloe. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> is that something she says quite often? <laughs> she always calls me mum. <laughs> Because I'm always like, have you done this? Have you done that? Um, do you want us to bring your food in? I think it's, um, it's important to, you know, get to know the younger ones and help them because it, it can be a tough, uh, tough transition. Obviously, if you look at, you know, what Chloe's been through in such a short space of time, I think, you know, what she's achieved off, off the back of her knee injury is uh, incredible. And, I th you know, the scary thing is she's only just getting started. I know that players don't like talking about themselves. You're no different, but... We've just highlighted some of the key things that you've achieved during your time with the club. Do you ever get the chance to look back and, and look at what you've achieved and, and think about how proud you must be of, of what you've done? I don't really take notice of these kind of things, but I think obviously, like I say, it is important to, you know, wind down, I guess, and, you know, really think about actually what you, what you have achieved and can be proud of. But maybe in me is, you know, keep, keep pushing for more get them WSL titles off. I think going off back of the, is it 2016? Mm. Um, yeah, de definitely want to try and go for that WSL title, which I'm sure we will get there. Yeah, fingers crossed. Well, Demi, thank you so much for your time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed looking back at your, your career so far. I'm very excited to see what you're going to do in the future. And congratulations again on the new deal. Ah, thank you.